Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Shoe Fish Life. Today we're doing our just a tip video on how to troll from the kayak. Ooh. Hey, this, I only seen it for a second because the sun's right in my way. This looks like a nice fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh my goodness. This was requested by one of our subscribers, Dan Rich. We've been trolling here for a little while. Um, we've hooked up with one earlier when I was just trolling to get to a different bass spot. Nice little brown. Now we're going to talk about how to set up your kayak real quick for pedaling. Um, everything else for pedaling is basically the same, other than you can move your rods a little closer, so that when you get one you don't have to reach so far. That's about it. First thing you need to do is get your rod holder up out of the way, because you need to make a good pedal. You don't want it in your way. Let's tighten that down real quick, just take a gander how that sits. You know, you don't, you're not going for power paddle. You're not trying to go across the lake. You're just trying to go nice, relaxed, trolling speed. So this would still let me power if I need to. I just have to pay attention to my rod and my line. So we're going to lock that in right there. And I recommend starting with just one pole. Get one pole figured out, then you can go for the pain in the butt of two. I mean, and hence it catches more fish. You have two lines in the water, more time in the water. But it can be a pain in the butt, especially when it's windy and wavy. So I like to troll. This is Joe's Lucky Lure. This is a Rapala jointed, I think a JRS4 or something like that in a crawdad pattern. Um, I don't troll two of these. I usually always have one and then something else on the other pole. Um, but if I'm trolling just one, I go with this. This thing seems to catch everything for me. Um, so we're gonna cast that out there. Give her a good little sand. And if you didn't make a good enough cast, you can just open your bill, start paddling. If you're trying to show kids whatever, just drop the lure in the water, open the bail, and just start paddling. The line will go out. And you're not going for any speed. I mean, I'm going a hair too fast right now, actually. You want it just enough for your rod's kind of shaking. That's the other reason I like the Rapalas, is when they're shaking, the rod tip means it's working. If it stops shaking, you probably have weeds. If it's bent in half and stopped shaking, you may have a fish or you may be snagged. Um, I like to have my drag semi-loose where if I'm not paying attention, the fish can take some, um, but not so loose that obviously it doesn't hook them. Uh, I like to use medium light to ultralight style rods. Um, they have a lot of bed in them. They make the fish fighting funner. You know, you use these big, bigger, heavy uh, rods the fish doesn't feel that big and it's kind of boring. Um, what else? Oh, the main reason I troll with Rapala's or Lucky Crafts or something that effect is you want something, in my opinion, that floats or suspends. Um, especially if you're running two rods. Once you're fighting that fish on the one rod, you're going to turn towards the fish you're fighting. Your other line's going to come and go and who knows where and usually get in your way like this. This is the mess that happened. But if you do something that floats or suspends, then the other rod's no big deal, you know, other than the line. Pay attention to the line. You can get big messes. Um, sometimes, even with that lure just sitting there, you might catch a second fish. So that's another reason to not use something that sinks. Because that, if you use a spinner or something that sinks, it's going to go to the bottom while you're sitting there. Who knows how long you're going to be there. Could be a couple minutes. Could be... 20 minutes, especially if you got lines wrapped and a fish and you don't have proper tools ready and everything. And then you're probably gonna lose that lure because it sunk to the bottom, you drifted, it snagged a rock, a log, whatever, and you probably lost it. Something else you gotta think about is while you're turning, I'm gonna turn right, the pole's on my left, that line, I gotta make a gradual turn where that line's just gonna shoot behind me and probably get tangled in my other poles. On my second kayak, um, I ran the rod holders behind me, where they were out of the way, they were up high, all that stuff. You can do that. Um, you get a lot of bites that you don't see. You know, when you're pedaling, you're constantly moving. Um, if you get a bite, the fish probably stay on. If you're paddling, you're still constantly moving. But because you're varying speeds on the sides, you actually can get more bites because you're increasing the speed of your lure, decreasing the speed of your lure, and that can entice a fish to bite. 
versus pedaling, you're just consistent. If you do get a bite, let's say I get a bite on this rod, I'm gonna give it two, three good paddles on that side to get, make sure that line stays tight. Because as I reach forward for it, pull it out of the holder, start reeling, there's that couple seconds when that line might not be tight. Or if you give yourself some extra forward momentum, it'll help it stay tighter. See as we're drifting here, this line's loose. Luckily, it's not going to wrap on anything. Um, make sure you watch for other boaters. If they're going to, if they're coming your way and you're going to make it in front of them before they would get where you're going, just remember you got a hundred feet of line or more out past behind you. So don't let them. Well, you can't control them. Don't put yourself in a position where you're going to let them run over your line. All right, so we got this other pole ready to cast out. It's lure and all that. But before you cast your second pole, if you took time and your one's in the water, you want to make sure you get that line tight again and know where it is. Um, you know, if you weren't paying attention where you drifted or anything like that, you're going to cast out there and tangle yourself right up the bank. So get that first lure that's in the water working like it is now. I know it's over on this side. I'm going to give this one a send on to the right, which this lure is not as heavy, so it didn't cast far, so leave that bell open and it'll pull its own little line out. Oh, we had a bite over there, but I'm daydreaming, not paying attention. <laughs> this would be my luck. Catch trout all the time, even when I'm not trying. I try to catch them because I want to make this video and <laughs> not kid me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shut up, fish, jump. Two feet in front of me. Finally got one, guys. Hard paddle this side. Oh, this. This feels like a good one. This feels like a real good one. Of course, that's the other fun part of these light action rods. Oh, he's coming to the top. Hopefully you don't jump and spit. See how I'm turning this way? My other line's right here. Okay? So that's something you gotta pay attention to is watch for the other line. Ooh. I don't know what we got. He's he's angry though. Got a leader. Ooh. Hey, this I only seen it for a second because the sun's right in my way. This looks like a nice fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh my goodness. There you are. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Hog. This is a hog. Okay, so he's in the water, he's in the net, he's good. I'm gonna reel this other line in, get it untangled out of the way. Dude, it's a hog. On Lucky Lure. There we go. Big freaking rainbow. A little planter though, because this side's rubbed off from concrete. All right, let's put him back in the net for a minute. All right, we got lines out of the way. Show you two one more time. I'm gonna let this puppy go. Let's see, it gets off right here. Oh. There we go. Nice big rainbow. All right, buddy. Oh, there he goes. It's as easy as that when you keep them in the net. Whew, sick. Well, thanks guys for watching Shoot Fish Laugh. I hope this Just the Tip video helped you out, especially you, Dan. Um, hopefully it's what you asked for. Um, can't explain it much better than that, I guess, other than get out and try it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on this uh, video and comments or on Instagram. You can message me and I'll answer you up. So if this video helped you out or you like this and want to see more Just the Tips, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and hit the little bell so you know when I put out a video. Comment down below and send me your pictures on Instagram of your new fish you caught because of the trolling. Thanks for watching Shoe Fish Life, guys. See you next time.